In this tutorial, we will explore a number of common mistakes that someone might make in setting up an MAUT model in logical decisions. And these all relate to inputting the data and setting up the ranges on the measures. The symptom of an error that you should be looking for is you'll find a utility score that's greater than 1, and the range has to be after you rescale it between 0 and 1. Or you may find a utility score for a measure that's negative. Or the final one, which is a little more subtle, you compare two alternatives on a specific measure, and you know alternative A is better than B, but the utility score of B is higher than the utility score of A. What are the sources of the problem? You may have typed in the data incorrectly, and you input a data point that was in, outside the range. You may have left off a zero or added an extra zero. Or you may have specified the measure range incorrectly in terms of the upper limits and the lower limits. And finally, you might have made a mistake in terms of specifying whether higher is better or lower is better. Okay, the example we will use to illustrate these types of errors involves picking a lighting system. It has six distinct measures. The major sub-goals are minimized costs, which have two measures, operating cost and investment cost. Then we have something called maximize performance. And within that, we have something called minimize eye strain, but the two measures are quality of light and the amount of light. And another measure of performance is the number of bulbs we'll replace. And finally, the last measure is a flexibility measure, which is just a zero one measure. Is the lighting system flexible? Can you dim the lights or not dim the lights? Or can you just turn them on and off? For this example, we use five different alternatives for the light bulbs and also for the systems that are involved. There is a basic incandescent 65 watt, a 65 watt equivalent fluorescent, a 75 watt basic incandescent. Then we move on to two systems which allow for the dimming of the lights. One is a fluorescent bulb and the other one is a halogen bulb. The amount of light, we have the data there, we have the bulbs replaced, and that's categories, labeled categories. Then we have flexibility, which is a zero one measure. We have investment cost, operation cost, and the quality of light, which is again a measure label. So the first thing that you would look at to see if there are any problems is the results matrix. And we produce the results matrix, but it's sometimes easier to analyze it by exporting it to an Excel file. So here's the results matrix. We're not going to talk about it much. We're going to First, export it into Excel, and we'll discuss what are the symptoms that there's something wrong with the way the model has been set up. So to export a file, you first hit this file menu item. Then the screen that shows up, you'll see the save window. You're going to click on the save window. And after that, it will ask you to save it as, in our case, as a spreadsheet. So here is the exported file, it's in Excel, and the first column, column B, lists the total score for each of the five alternatives, and clearly you have a problem. Every one of the values is greater than one. One factor that's contributing to the, this high numbers is that under the cost goal, all of the values there are greater than one. Now the cost goal consists of the operation cost and the investment cost. And in the investment cost measure, you see that seems to be the core problem. All those numbers are very large. We will come back to the operation cost measure, but that's not as obvious that there's a mistake. So that's one set of mistakes. And then when you look down each column, like minimize eye strain goal, which is based on the amount of light measure, that's a goal. So the measure is amount of light. And you'll notice in the amount of light measure, you have several values that are negative and one value that's greater than one. Again, there are symptoms of a problem. Later on, we'll focus on the operation cost measure, which is the least obvious error in the process. The symptom of this error is when you look at two alternatives, in this case 65 watt fluorescent and 75 watt basic incandescent, you know that fluorescent lights use very little energy. And yet, on this scale, operation cost measure, the 65 fluorescent bulb has a .067 score, and the 75 watt basic incandescent is a 0.883 score when on some way they should be the exact opposite. 
So that suggests in some case, that suggests that you have the scale backwards in some way. We will go and look at each one of these individually in the next few slides. In this first example, it's the most common error that someone might make. In setting up the measures, the individual forgot to reset the scale and just use the default values of 1 to 0. In this data, the range is from $50 in cost in purchasing to $160. Now, for now, it actually lists most preferred as 160 and least preferred as 50, and that's because with a default of 1 and 0, higher looks better and low looks worse. When you input the right values, then the alternative's most preferred will actually be a 50, and the alternative least preferred will be the 160. To correct this, you need to change the most preferred level to some number that's 50 or less, and you'd have to change the least preferred level to some value that's 160 or more, depending upon what you consider the potential range. Once you've done that, you hit OK. You need to close it in order for it to recorrect to correct the, the terms alternatives most preferred value and the alternatives least preferred value. Now we're looking at the amount of light measure. It's measured in lumens. We had input the range going from 1,000 as most preferred, higher is better, and least preferred is 800. To the right of those that range, the software tells us what are the actual maximum and minimum values, and it turns out the maximum value for lumens is 1,020, which is above 1,000. Therefore, when you look at the matrix, you'll see a value that's greater than 1. And the alternative's least preferred value was 620, which is below 800. That will produce a negative value, and it turns out there are two alternatives that have values that are less than 800, so you'll see two numbers that are negative. Now we're looking at the operation cost measure. And we had seen that the results matrix seemed to be strange in that the operating cost for a fluorescent bulb was more expensive than the operating cost for an incandescent bulb. That seems counterintuitive. We look at the information, and most preferred level is 350, and the least preferred level is 50, and the alternatives are within the range. So that is not the error. So you're not going to see any value that's negative. You're not going to see any value that's greater than 1. But when you stop and think about it, you're saying, well, most preferred when it comes to spending is a lower number, and least preferred is a higher number. So in this case, we have the scale backwards. And as a result, the numbers, the utility scores, are the exact opposite of what you would expect in terms of the relative values. Once you change and set the most preferred level and least preferred level as 50 and 350, and you hit OK and save it, and you reopen it later on, you'll see also that the most preferred alternative's value will be 70, and the alternative's least preferred value will be 315. If instead of looking at the ranking results matrix, you had selected the ranking results graph, you might see a graph that looks like this, which is totally bizarre. Um, it's unreadable, but it also gives you no insight into where your errors are. It's the matrix looking at it between 0 and 1 and comparing um, specific pairs of alternatives on specific measures that helps you understand where you might have made a mistake. But if you pull up this graph first, then it will give you a hint that you have a problem.